Should you pay to skip the lines in Disney World? We're putting it to the test on one of the busiest days of the year. I have Genie Plus. And I sure don't. Let's see what happens. <laughs> we are here at Rope Drop at Disney's Hollywood Studios to ride a select list of the most popular attractions in this park. Sage is going to be skipping the lines with Genie Plus, working all day to have the best day possible by skipping lines and getting better times for his lightning lanes. And, <laughs> that was an entrance. And we hear one of the busiest times ever at the time of filming. It's in the middle of Christmas season. Technically, today was like almost blocked out. Yeah. Since he was up until midnight, just desperately trying to get a reservation. And that's because we didn't do it early enough. And you should. <laughs> and you should. But it is Christmas week. It is the busiest I've seen Disney World all year. So GD should be interesting today. Um, I'll be spending my day in really long lines, I think. Like this Starbucks line. And I will be spending my time constantly modifying to get uh, earlier um, lightning lanes. That sounds really fun. <laughs> I'll, I'll be on my phone literally all day. All right, so rope drop works a little different on very, very busy days. It's actually pretty hard to get in right when the park opens, especially in Hollywood Studios. So for one, 30 minutes prior to park entry, resort guests do get to come into the park and go ahead and start riding things and everything like that. So if you're a resort guest, make sure that you're here for that 30 minutes of early entry. That's gonna be the, probably some of the most valuable time of your day. If you are not a resort guest, you are gonna run into um, the fact that all of those lines are already filled up. So before the park even opened, many of the attractions in this park had over an hour line. Some were even up around 100 minutes. 100 minutes before the park even opened to regular guests. The park opened this morning at 8.30. Sage and I were standing outside of the gates at 8.15. Because of how long the lines were to scan in, we did not get into the park until 8.55. So the park has now been fully open for over 30 minutes. But the good news is that means we're gonna be able to show you how to use Genie Plus on one of the busiest days of the year so that you're equipped to use it on days that aren't so busy. And I'm gonna show you a lot of strategies for when you don't have Genie Plus. We are gonna spend some serious time in line today. I would 100% buy Genie Plus today if I were coming to Disney World on a day like this. However, if you don't, all is not lost. But I'm gonna do a couple predictions about how I believe this day is gonna go for me, especially because it is insanely busy. Most of the e-ticket attractions are far above 100 minutes, already at 120 minutes for things like Toy Story Mania, which is wild. So here's how I believe my day is gonna go. I'm gonna spend a lot of time on my phone. I'm gonna spend a lot of time stacking lightning lanes, which we'll talk about in a second. I'm gonna spend a lot of time um, in my two hour cool down window, with, uh, enjoying coffee, uh, being a little leisurely, just walking around. And then all of a sudden in the afternoon, it's gonna be go, go, go. Uh, hit all the lightning lanes as, as many as I can before either time runs out or I'm able to complete the list. It was such a busy day that right at 6.59 at 7 o'clock, I booked my first lightning lane for uh, Slinky Dog Dash, which is always our recommendation. But because it's such a busy day, they sold out immediately. I was able to grab one for 7.25 tonight. So I'm gonna do my best to modify as best I can to hopefully get an earlier lightning lane time. So because it can be pretty um, frustrating to be on your phone, just constantly refreshing, waiting for the app to refresh, saying that Rise the Resistance is back open. If the ride is down, you cannot book individual lightning lanes. So we're gonna sit in front of Rise the Resistance. Hopefully once we see it open, that means we know to immediately go to the app and we'll be able to refresh and book the individual lightning lane, hopefully for a pretty uh, soon time. Now typically on a day like this, I would recommend seeing some shows, exploring, going shopping, riding some of the filler attractions and riding one or two mega popular rides that have an hour plus wait. I would not recommend what I'm gonna do, which is seeing how long we wait to ride all of those most popular rides. But if those are your must do's, those are your must do's and that's the reality of it. My first tip is a Hollywood Studios exclusive tip and that is to use part of your rope drop time to grab coffee. I know that this sounds silly and if you're a resort guest, you should not do this. But if you're coming in after resort guests, the 10 minutes that it takes you to grab coffee at Trolley Car Cafe on your way in will not make a huge difference in the length of the line you're about to wait in. It will probably already be pretty stable. Instead, it will give you something to sip on while you wait in your first long line. 
Now, normally I would head straight to Rise of the Resistance, but this morning, Rise of the Resistance is still down. There's a full line of cast members out and about. Uh, not only were there, ca there, there are cast members on both sides as well, almost like a full barricade saying absolutely no, no way. There was uh, a couple of people at the uh, front of Galaxy's Edge with microphones saying Rise of the Resistance was also down, and even at the front of the park saying Rise of the Resistance uh, is down. Now that could mean a couple things. One, it means that there was a, a pretty big break, a pretty big situation where it's gonna be down uh, for a while. Um, but also, they do know that today is going to be a busier day, so they're letting people know because typically this is this is the first stop for a lot of people. I think Rise of the Resistance is going to be down for a bit, but just in case, we're going to spend our two-hour cooldown here, uh, enjoying our morning coffee, enjoying the sights and sounds of Galaxy's Edge. Maybe take a picture. I don't know. When folks skip the lines with Lightning Lane, that can delay the standby line on certain attractions. Slinky Dog Dash is definitely one of these, where if there's a lot of people in the Lightning Lane, it takes longer to get through. In general, I think we're going to be here a while. The line is stretched all the way outside of the normal queue, and it's a 120 minute posted wait, so we'll see how long we're here. First section of the queue down, 15 and a half minutes in. I've done all of that part, and now I'm inside. So, keep you updated. Still have coffee left. Well, Rise of the Resistance is still not open, and a little under an hour and a half since park opening. Uh, so I must be experiencing quite some technical difficulties. So in the meantime, I bet you're asking, Sage, why aren't you booking more lightning lanes? C come on, man. You're, you already booked one. It's for later on tonight. You've got to ride rides. What, what, what aren't you doing? Well, it's because I can't. You can only book one lightning lane at a time. Guests can book their first lightning lane at 7 a.m. We always recommend uh, setting your alarm for 6.50, uh, giving yourself a, you know, a second to wake up, whatever you got to do by Genie Plus. We always recommend here at Hollywood Studios, uh, Slinky Dog Dash, because that attraction is likely going to be the first to sell up for the rest of the day. Now after 7 a.m., once you've booked your first lightning lane, you cannot book uh, another lightning lane uh, until you have a two hour cool down. But it has to be a two hour cool down after park opening. Today the park opened at 8.30, which means our two hour cool down ends at 10.30. After that, we are able to book our next lightning lane. And that lightning lane can be for whatever's available. If it happens to be, um, later on in the day so right now I have a, a lightning lane for 725 if I book another lightning lane for 530 I'll have to wait another two hour cooldown because the only other way to book an additional lightning lane is if I scan in and I use the current light lightning lane that I have okay outside section like fully outside section and blue box section are done at 45 minutes so now I think we just have this last bit leading towards the Crayola crayons okay Hear me out. Two hour cooldown, sleeping pods. Like that's something I can invest in. It's our time for my cool, two hour cooldown in the morning. Now I'm gonna go to uh, the back of Sunset Boulevard to my sleeping pod until my two hour cooldown is up. Just throwing the idea out there. I'm next to the giant Ticonderoga pencil, which is my favorite brand of pencil because it's just better. I can't explain it why. Maybe it's because it's soft. I didn't know these pencils said that, but this is a really big one, so I do. Number two, Ticonderoga Elite Pencil. So in the meantime, I am going to go to Rock and Roller Coaster, which is the latest one that I can tell. Yep, Rock and Roller Coaster, 240. Oh, now it's a 430. Wow. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try and continue to modify my rock and roller coaster uh, lightning lane, but because I have booked one that is uh, more than two hours out, that means my two hour cooldown starts again right now, uh, 10:30, which means 11:30, 12:30, 12:30 is the next time I can book another lightning lane. So I am an hour and nine minutes in. Um, I am almost to the entire queue. I just have to go around this corner and we're to loading basically. But we just heard an announcement that we might see a slight increase in our wait time. The lightning lane doesn't look overly backed up, so I'm not really sure what that is about. But uh, it still looks like two Slinky Dog trains are running, so hopefully it's not too bad. All right, so I was able to modify my rock and roller coaster twice. Once to 350 and then down all the way to 250. Uh, I've got time because I'm 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 in a uh, I'm in another two-hour cooldown until 12:31. So 
So I've got time to sit here and modify both of my lightning lanes, both for Slinky Dog Dash and for Rock and Roller Coaster. All right, I thought this might happen, but it looks like our wait is definitely not gonna be 120 minutes. We just got past the lightning lane peak. Um, so I think we're gonna come in with a pretty good time here. Now, yes, this video is all about using Genie Plus on one of the busiest days of the, of the year. Uh, you know, and Quincy doesn't have it, you know, the, the comparison, but that doesn't mean we can't use these two hour cooldowns to our advantage and show you what to do during, during a two hour cooldown. For the purposes of our experiment today, we're not gonna do anything that we're, that's on our Genie Plus list, but there's no reason we can't see a, a, you know, a show because live entertainment is important. We may still have to be a little bit attached to our phone, checking our phone for those modifications, but you know, we can have a nice lunch, maybe grab a nice beverage at Baseline Tap House, you know. Use, use those two hour cooldowns to your advantage. So let's see, what are we gonna do today? One hour and 18 minutes, that's it. So 78 minutes, which is way better than 120. By like a lot, holy moly, 40 minutes shorter. Okay, 78 minutes instead of 120, that's 40 minutes shorter than the posted wait time. Something that we have definitely noticed is that wait times are least accurate in the morning. So even if your rope drop is a little later than you wanted and those wait times look high, that still might be the best time to ride these really popular rides because now the wait times are posted 140 minutes and I bet you it's a whole lot more accurate. Lightning lanes as the day go on make lines longer even if they look a little shorter and the longer the day goes on the more likely rides are to have issues. They're going to be running at their best first thing in the morning in most cases. I would just highly recommend waiting in those longer lines first thing. Um, another great option is to do it very last thing but you do run risks with that like riser resistance I do not recommend doing last because it tends to close um, due to technical difficulties and if you miss your chance that can be a really big bummer. Um, but very last is also when you'll see inaccurate, slightly longer posted wait times than what at is actually happening. Now I'm trying to decide what to do next. Um, every wait time in this park is long right now. Yeah, everything on our list today is 110 minutes or higher. Tower is at 250 minutes. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Christmas week, man. 115 minutes smugglers run. Let's, let's scroll all the way down to Little Slinky Dog Dash, 150 minutes. May, it's Toy Story Mania, 100 minutes. Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, 250 minutes. That's wild. All right, I made it to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. The posted wait is 150 minutes right now. I'm gonna check one more time to make sure there's not something that like shockingly dropped all of a sudden. Twilight Zone Tower of Terror went down from four hours to a little over three, so that's good. Yeah, I think this is still our best bet. I have double good news. One good news is that I did get a hot dog. It is about 10.30 in the morning. We're almost 11. It's hot dog time, okay? Um, also, while I was getting my hot dog, the wait time dropped to 100 minutes. So hopefully this was a good choice and it keeps dropping. And this is the California BLTA dog from Dockside Diner. It's one of my favorites. I think I'm gonna go to Vacation Fun. Uh, it's, a, it's, a quick, it's a quick movie, and uh, definitely a filler attraction. It's something to do during your, uh, your two-hour cooldown. So uh, why not? We got time. If you're not familiar with the new Mickey shorts, you can find all those on Disney+. Plus. They're a lot of fun. They're definitely more uh, humorous, less heartfelt, uh, a little more slapsticky. But it's a really cute theater. They've got these seats that are like have the have Mickey Mouse pants. The seats are comfortable, and uh, the theater is really pretty. It's really nice in here, and it's warm. And today is very cold. Hehe. <laughs> Okay, I have waited through the entire portion that is outside the Chinese theater walls, and it has been an hour and 10 minutes. So in eight more minutes, it will be as long as I waited for Slinky Dog Dash when it was posted as 20 minutes longer than this. And I'm not even inside yet. And there's a lot of queue inside too, so I think I'm gonna be here a bit. Yeah, just doing a final check. <laughs> okay, and don't forget to bring your camera. Hey, see you soon. 
All right, we crazy lucked out as we were exiting uh, Vacation Fun. Um, and I think that's that's what I needed. I needed a second to step away from my phone. My battery <laughs> is at, is already at 20%, and it's only 1118. But I did luck out, and I was able to uh, grab another modification to my rock and roller coaster. Now at 120. So we are slowly making our way down, but the lines are just so long. So since we live here now, what do you guys think? What should we do with the place? We're gonna remodel. I'm thinking we need to take out these lights and put in like grander chandeliers and maybe do like um like a movie corner and like a bar. I don't know. There's no windows, so we don't have to worry about curtains. I was getting frustrated because I was getting a lot of early times, like uh, you know, sometimes as early as like 11:30, you know, 12:20, things like that. I, I click an on them as quickly as I can, like a speedy, speedy man, and uh, immediately they were gone. Just as like a fun experiment, I actually got off of the Disney Parks Wi-Fi, uh, and I actually, uh, I'm actually having better luck off of the Disney Wi-Fi than I am on the Disney Wi-Fi. Now that's not always the case. Sometimes I do have better luck on the Disney Wi-Fi. But on days like today where there's a lot of people, it could be just a lot of people using the Disney Wi-Fi, maybe the signal is just not as strong, maybe it's the weather, you never know. Technology is never perfect. If you feel like you're missing out on times because your, your phone is being slow or the Wi-Fi is not uh, being as quick as it should be, maybe try taking off the Wi-Fi and just going off of actual cellular service because that seems to be working. I'm getting some lower wait times because I, I, got, off the, I got off the Wi-Fi, so thank goodness. Everything, everything in the park, uh, or, or everything on our on our list is after five o'clock, and our time that's when our time runs out. We're only in park from eight thirty to five o'clock today. Our time runs out at five. It is one of the busiest days of the year. Everything is over hundred minutes, and every single lightning lane uh, from the from the list of attractions that we're supposed to do today, it's all after five o'clock. So when I book anything else, I'm going to have to immediately modify it in order to make it still within the time frame we've been given for this Genie Plus experiment challenge thing. In the meantime, let's continue to modify and uh, lunch. Just merge with the lightning lane, so we're almost there. We are an hour and 50 minutes in, so 110 minutes, which is not too far off from the posted 10 minutes far. So we'll see uh, what, what it is when we get into the pre-show. I did it. Oh my gosh, 11.35 rock and roller coaster lightning lane. That's right now. That is, that's a big win. Okay, lunch is gonna have to wait. We're headed to Rock and Roller Coaster, our first attraction of the day. Once we, do, once we do that, we'll be able to book our next lightning lane and we'll get this bad boy on a roll. I don't know, for people who love sports, it's like scoring, you know, a touchdown. For people who love concerts and music, it's like, it's like going on stage and just, and just nailing it. In the pre-show after 121 minutes, it's a little over two hours, my feet hurt. Here's what will be super interesting, is seeing how long we have to wait in the lightning lane. For example, for Tower of Terror, the lightning lane starts right here, by Theater of the Stars. And, I mean, it, it's a 150 minute wait, and that's, that's where lightning lane starts. Now the lightning lane, 11.38, ours was just 11.35, and there currently is an 85 minute wait time. Now currently at Rock and Roller Coaster, you only scan in once. So I just booked my next lightning lane for Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway at 525. Fortunately, that's after our time, which means I have to modify it in order to ride it. And it was another 10 minutes after the pre-show of a little bit of a line, and now I'm about to board. Finally. There it is, our super stretch limo. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure I've ever seen a day with wait times this long. I'm looking at where to go next, and luckily our plan worked. Tower of Terror has a 50 minute wait right now. So I'm gonna rock it back there, I think. Um, and we'll do tower, which hopefully will not shoot up by the time we get over there. 
and then hopefully we'll try to do rock and roller coaster. I actually think that I'm going to ride more of the Target attractions than Sage's just because I'm actually going to wait in line. Whereas I think he's going to get to do more than me because he's got a lot of time to kill during his two hour cooldowns with Genie Plus. It really is like a lesson in priorities if you really only care about those higher priorities and don't mind to wait then you're probably going to actually get through more waiting in the physical lines and not finagling with Genie Plus but if it's more about having a good overall day doing some major attractions and some filler attractions then Genie Plus is probably going to help you out a bit more. My new goal today is yes ride good attractions but it's also convinced Sage to use one of his two hour cooldowns to drive to Walmart and buy me Dr. Scholl's inserts. While in line, we were able to grab a little bit of a modification. It's not a lot, uh, but it was the one it was the one that became available, which was 4.05, which is definitely before 5 o'clock, which is our, our time cut off. So um, we'll be able to make Mickey Minnie's Runway Railway. Uh, let's go grab some lunch while we continue to modify. We may have just been gifted an absolutely wild occurrence. The Tower of Terror wait time has dropped to 30 minutes, when earlier it was above four hours. Um, now what was happening there is that one of the two drop towers was down. Tower of Terror has basically two entirely separate ride systems and when one goes down you'll see that the ride's capacity is about halved. So that's what was happening earlier which is why that line was so so long and I'm assuming now they've gotten it back up with that wait time dropping so low to just 30 minutes. We'll see how long it lasts because I think people will probably rush over here with that. 90 minutes now. Immediately shut up and I bet it's going to keep going up while we're on it. I hope our wait's not too long. So how Disney counts how long a line actually is, is from the start of the queue all the way to the pre-show or where they split people off because there is a pre-show at Rock and Roller Coaster. That's where the, the time ends. From the start of the uh, Lightning Lane entrance all the way to the pre-show, it's approximately, I only had to wait three minutes. So uh, yeah, definitely, definitely worth it. Here's another uh, Rise of the Resistance update. Still down. I got my go-to uh, chicken fingers and fries with um, ranch and my, I'm gonna do some mayo chip. Uh, they don't have honey mustard anymore over at Backlot Express and I'm starting to see honey mustard go away at a lot of different uh, Disney uh, quick service locations. Don't take away our honey mustard. Now today might be a little bit of a washout because of how crazy busy it is. Uh, specifically just because I'm only using Genie Plus and individual lightning lane. Now the route that I definitely would have taken today uh, just because we do have those two hour cooldowns and because everybody is probably modifying to get the best uh, lightning lanes, we should be using the two hour cooldown to our advantage. For example, uh, you know, we just rode a uh, rock and roller coaster and yes, even though lunch is great, our next attraction isn't until four o'clock. Uh, I'm trying to modify for an earlier time, but we could have gone to Star Tours, which is only a 60 minute wait. Now typically I don't say ride Star Tours when it's 60 minutes, but on busy days like today, you're probably not going to have a choice. So on busy days like today, I definitely recommend using Genie Plus, but don't be afraid to hop in a line. You're not going to believe this. 20 minutes to free show. 20 minutes. <laughs> Hair check. 20 minutes, dude. 20 minutes today of all days. It's up to a close to 90 now. So I think we really knocked that one out of the park. Uh, the rest of the rides on our list, because remember, we're focusing on the most popular rides, the rides you're most gonna want to ride when you come here. Uh, those are Rise Resistance, Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run, Toy Story Mania, and Rock and Roller Coaster. Those are the ones we haven't done yet. I'm by Rockin'. They're all like above 110 minute wait. I think Rise is like at 150 so it's like let's just pick our poison you know uh rocket is down and millennium falcon smugglers run has dropped to 85 which normally is way longer than i would choose for millennium falcon smugglers run but anything below 100 minutes today is a win so i'm gonna head that way here at indiana jones epic sounds spectacular so um again feel free to do some of these shows uh while you're during your two hour cooldowns. enjoy yourself just because you are waiting for lightning lanes, you're modifying, 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 doesn't mean you can't enjoy your time.
got good news and I've got bad news. The bad news is, is that there's no good news. So on the attractions that were listed uh, for us to use for our Genie Plus experiment today, by 1.32, they were all sold out. Now, there is a chance that if I just continue to modify the entire tip board page, that something will pop up, but I can fully book now. Oh, okay, wait a minute. As we're talking here, fantastic. As we were talking, literally, I just refreshed and Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, it is finally back up at, at one, it's currently 158 right now. It's finally back up. I was able to quickly grab an individual lightning lane. It was $22 a person. So that's $2 more than yesterday for three o'clock, which means I must have just refreshed right at the right time. So three o'clock, uh, we're gonna go ride Rise of the Resistance. We still have our lightning lane for, at four o'clock for Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, but everything else on our, on our list is sold out. All right, getting in line for Linnean Falcon Smuggler's Run. It is a 75 minute wait now, so it actually dropped a bit. There is a single rider line and I am alone. However, this is a video for science. We're seeing how long you would wait if your family wanted to stay together. Now you can split up and use the single rider line if you are willing and able to split. Um, so that is an option, but uh, I won't be doing that for science. Well, just my luck on this crazy busy day. Rise of the Resistance is down. Uh, I, was, I was about to return for my individual lightning lane and I was given a Star Wars Rise of the Resistance Experience Redemption. Because it's an individual lightning lane that I paid specifically for Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, I can't uh, go to Brock and Roller Coaster or Tower of Terror because I specifically paid for, uh, for Rise of the Resistance. Now I am going to ask that for some reason if it's down for the rest of the day, will I get a refund? Will it become available to me tomorrow? I, I'm, I am gonna talk to guest experience to see what will happen. Likely it's going to come back up again and then <laughs> because it has come back up again, they're gonna, they're gonna say, well, you had the time when it, when it came back up to come ride it. But unfortunately, you know, they don't know that our clock ends at five o'clock. So I'm hoping it comes up soon, hoping it's not down long, but it's definitely having some problems today. So if you ever have any questions about Genie Plus, something goes wrong with your day, with your ticket, with your My Disney Experience app, you can always go up to the guest experience uh, cast members. They'll typically find them under a blue umbrella uh, and they are always super helpful or they, at least they always have been with me. I just talked to an awesome cast member at the guest experience umbrella near uh, in front of Galaxy's Edge and I asked them some questions regarding about what would happen uh, since uh, my current experience with different passes only for Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. So, first things first, because they were down for five, six hours this morning, if for some reason they do not come back up and the park is closed, all I would need to do is go before the park closes or uh, on my way out, visit a guest experience umbrella and they'll go over our options with us. Typically, nine times out of 10, the option, because it's it's a $24 thing. It's, it's, not like, it's not like they can exchange a lot for $24. They're not gonna give you a free stay somewhere. Typically, it's just a refund. Now, I also asked what would happen if, for example, like today, our, the end of our experiment is at five o'clock. I said, what would, what would happen if I had to go? Uh, is it possible for me to get a refund earlier? They said, absolutely. If you, for some reason, you have to leave the park, visit a guest experience umbrella, cast member and they, and they will probably give you a list of options which is you know the end goal was is probably inevitably um, a refund but then I asked you know what if I still I still have an hour still have two hours left before I have to go and I you know I have this experience redemption pass can I substitute it for a different uh, a different lightning lane like say like Tower of Terror and they said absolutely but you can't just go there because they won't accept that uh, experience redemption pass you have to go to a guest experience tent they will cancel your experience redemption pass you will probably not get a refund and then they will give you a lightning lane or an experience redemption pass for whatever you are currently looking for all right i am still in line it has been an hour and 42 minutes i'm still in this room so this is definitely my last ride of the day because there's only 30 minutes left until sage and i were calling the challenge um, so if any lightning lanes he was able to acquire before that point, he can still fulfill it into the evening and it's whatever rides I can actually get through. After a super busy day, super busy day, it's time for our second ride of the day. <laughs> We've made as many modifications as we could. It is just that crazy of a day. One of the busiest days of the year. But now it's time for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway.
Well, hiya, folks. Want to take a ride on the train? And two of my favorite things about Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. Uh, I love that they have a picture at the very end of Walt Disney. One, because obviously Walt Disney created Mickey Mouse. And two, because he loved trains so much. Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway is part homage to him of, of Walt's love for trains. And the second thing I love about this is that we, we, we end the same way we start. We're going back through the screen back into a room that looks very similar to the pre-show room. If you look back, it says the end. Hey, as you can see, I'm outside. That's because our challenge ended at five today. It is 5 p.m. I bailed at two full hours in line after I posted 75 minutes. It right now is a posted 175 minutes. So that wait time shot up massively. I still had a solid amount of queue to go. I had the entire final room, which typically does not take a short amount of time. The line was not moving quickly at all. And uh, unfortunately, no Millennium Falcon Smugglers run for me. So that's the opposite danger of the uh, exciting thing that happened to us earlier with Tower of Terror, is that sometimes when you see a shorter line, even if it's not that short, 85 minutes was still very long when I walked over here, everybody else has the same idea as you. So when in doubt, stick to not the shortest wait on a popular ride, stick to kind of those middle weights, or go for something like I did earlier where I made my way in the direction of Tower when I saw it at its highest. That Tower of Terror trick could have gone poorly as well. When people saw that 50 minutes, it could have turned into 110 minutes right then. I got really, really lucky getting over there. Well, that was a pretty crazy day. This was a wild day. <laughs> um, the, my big takeaway is like, don't, don't come <laughs> Christmas week. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm kind of serious. Yeah. I, like it seems like it's gonna be magical. This was really, really hard to do anything. Also, don't live or die by one way or the other. Like that, no. that was my thing. Like I spent so much time drawing these cooldowns, trying to modify when I absolutely saw a 65 minute wait for, for Star Tours yeah. that I definitely could have gotten it. Yeah, get 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 Genie and do some waiting in line, especially on days like this. I would have gotten Genie today. But it's also just like this is just I mean, a bonkers yeah. day. And Magic Kingdom was a lot less crowded today. Yeah. So if that's the kind of thing where you look and you decide to park hop, you know, that could be an option. But boy, oh boy, was today wild. Just in general, I actually would recommend coming a week earlier than the week of Christmas, just yep. in general. And also week of New Year's and Thanksgiving. Those are other most crowded weeks of the year. Yep. Avoid those if you can. Absolutely. That was, that was, yep. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, it's, yeah no, it's, it's, it's wild. Um, you can have a, you, you can still have a great time here, but literally, it's just it's gonna it's gonna take some finagling. You're gonna need to come with that expectation. I had a fine time in line today because I came planned with things to do, but and I, I saw a lot of families playing heads up and having a perfectly nice time. I talked to families who didn't oh, mind that's the lines, good. so like if you don't mind a line, you can still have a great time. But I did a lot of filler attractions. I I saw Indiana Jones. I did vacation Jealous. fun. Jealous. Uh, well, what? I just love vacation fun. <laughs> you said jealous? Yeah. I think you said Jaws. I was like, oh, I did Jaws? Did Jaws? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, no, it, so there are things you can do. Just yep. It's just it's been a wild day. Yeah, yeah but, so that was an experiment. We should try this again maybe on a more normal busy day. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And now go watch me break down Genie in Disney's Animal Kingdom. I'll see you there. Bye.